Welcome to this uh, ICOM ICR20 communications receiver video. Um, if you have uh, looked at the first video on computer control, I've shown you what you need as a cable. So hopefully now, you, uh, if you want to do it, you have ordered that famous cable here, which is a special CIV or CI5 cable for the ICOM ICR20 as a uh, DB9 female to uh, these two 18 um, Walkman type connectors, connectors on top. So what now comes next is how to hook it up to your computer. So if you have a uh, an old computer with a uh, serial port, well this thing might actually plug in directly. If not, you might need just a little adapter to hook it in to your computer. But if you're like me, you've got a laptop computer, and or, or you've got a really recent computer, only a few years old, you probably don't have any serial ports on it. So to actually uh, make it work, well first thing you'll need is the famous USB USB to serial adapter which is a little electronic device that uh, will transform uh, the USB port into a uh, COM port for serial communications. So you use that adapter and you hook it up to the end of your ICOM CIV cable first of all <clears throat> now since this plugs in directly you can plug it directly to your computer like that I personally prefer having longer cable so I've hooked it up to a uh, extension USB extension cord if you want so this is what it looks like second thing you need to know is the other end as two 1-8 wires and there's a difference between both of them to use the CIV connector which is on your ICOM the upper connector here on the right side of your radio you need to hook, to hook up this this connector with the two little black lines this one is actually a cable that will get uh, one of the connection will give you the data the other one will actually take out the audio so what you do is you use this one and just enter it into your radio here until the end and there we go why this one because you have since you, this is the the CIV connector is also the headphone jack of your radio if you know and that means that while this is plugged in no sound is actually coming out of the radio and to make the sound come out somewhere they've put the second wire and this goes to the input of your sound card so your computer has a sound card all computers do and you've got a microphone or a line in jack on your computer this will go plug there because it's going to give you some audio through your computer speakers so while you'll control the radio you'll actually listen to the radio through your computer speakers which is interesting um, I personally think that they should have done a way that we can plug it in um, and that the audio comes in out of the speaker but unfortunately it's not possible so you'll have to hook up this one and make it uh, work on your computer for the audio to come out through your speakers but we'll show you a little bit uh, how that works if you cannot get your audio working uh, there are a few things you should try so that's how it hooks up here all you need to do on the computer side now is one change the uh, point of view here we'll take out of this 
And we'll go to the computer side of things. Here's the computer, laptop. And on the side of the computer, I'll show you here. This side is USB. USB is right here. So I'll plug the USB part of this connector into the USB of the radio, the, the computer, sorry. And the second part is, I told you there's an audio cable. In my computer, the audio port is actually right here, the two little holes. And so in the two little holes, one has a microphone, little microphone, and the other one has a little headphone. So what you want to do is put it into the microphone jack, which in my case is this one here. And so once that is done and hooked up well, the audio will actually come out of your computer uh, instead of coming out through um, uh, the radio itself. So, two things to hook up on your computer. The audio cable into the microphone jack and the USB cable into one of the USB jacks. Once that is done, you're ready to start and understand the setup process of the computer and the radio so that they actually can talk together and the only way to talk together well is to actually know your different little setup parameters of the radio and uh, that will be in the next video we'll show you how to make sure that these uh, settings are actually right so that the software will talk to your radio because you'll need to match the information to make sure that it works so hope this wasn't too complicated uh, remember you'll need to have that special ICOM ICR20 uh, cable you'll need a USB to serial adapter if you don't have a serial port already on your computer and um, you'll have to insert the USB in the computer and the audio in the microphone jack of your computer next we'll show you in the next video how to Make sure that all the settings are okay so that your computer software can talk to each other. So, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look at the other videos on how to uh, set up everything for it to work. And of course, you will have videos on the uh, computer software to use. And uh, the, we'll see what different software we can actually use to control the ICOM ICR20 receiver. If you have any comments or questions, hey, let us know. There are no stupid questions. Maybe something you missed out, you don't understand. Maybe you tried to hook it up and you don't know, it just doesn't work. Hey, ask the questions and we'll try to find an answer. So, hope you enjoy these uh, videos and um, hope you come back to uh, watch many, many more, especially if you have one of these radios, these icon radios. So, thanks for watching, 73.